Court filings, the war of words continues between prosecutors and the defense attorneys in the Freddie Gray case. Tonight, Marilyn Mosby's office is for the first time responding to a particular argument by the defense on why she and her office should be recused from the case. 11 News reporter George Lattice is live at the Mitchell Courthouse with more. George. Yeah, Donna, and those words are getting pretty interesting. The prosecution's response refers to things like the Pony Express and carrier pigeons and some words that may cause you to go to Google. Lawyers for the six officers charged in Freddie Gray's death have argued in several court motions that City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby and her office should not try this case because she is considered a witness in the case. That argument is based on an email her office sent Western District Police Commanders a month before Freddie Gray's arrest, requesting the area of North Avenue and Mountain Street be targeted for drug dealing enforcement. This email was forwarded to lieutenants, including one of the officers charged, Brian Rice. On April 12th, North Avenue and Mount Street was the exact area where Freddie Gray ran from officers before his arrest a few blocks later. The defense argues Mosby is a witness because she directed officers to be in the area where Gray was arrested. The defense motion, quote, from where did Mrs. Mosby receive this information? What factors were taken into consideration in issuing this directive? To whom was this information disseminated? How was this information disseminated? The state's response, Mosby being a witness is preposterous. They write, quote, bereft of legal authority and factual support, defendants spew invective, hoping that vitriol will trump logic. Quote, whether the information was received or disseminated by Pony Express or Carrier Pigeon has nothing to do with any issue in this case. The prosecution's response goes on to say Mosby did not direct officers to chase Freddie Gray, arrest him, handcuff and shackle him, put him in a police wagon without a seatbelt, or ignore his requests for a medic. And on a related note, as far as Freddie Gray's arrest, prosecutors now say that those officers never did a pat-down frisk to find that knife on Freddie Gray that morning, and prosecutors say they never argued the knife was illegal. We're live at Mitchell Courthouse, towards Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News.